Hey, what's going on everyone? In a previous video, we went over the Lenovo ThinkSmart Core full room kit unboxing device overview and setup of the Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows system. We've got that system here before us, the Think, uh, ThinkSmart controller down here for your center of room touchscreen, the actual compute device down here, then we've got the ThinkSmart Bar XL, the optional satellite mics, and of course, ThinkSmart Cam up top, and we're in a two-room display setup. In this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off, take a look at how to set the room system up from this point forward, getting the initial selections done, the prompts on screen, getting signed in with the Teams Rooms account, and then going through using the device in a Microsoft Teams Rooms meeting so that you get a feel for what that experience is like and some of the advanced AI capabilities. Let's dig in. Now, to navigate some of these on-screen prompts, at least when you first set the device up, it's helpful to have a keyboard on hand and a mouse optionally so that you can put the uh, USB dongle, or if it's wired, the USB uh, connection into a USB-A port on the back of the compute device, and that way we can use either the mouse or the keyboard or both for navigating through these initial setups and inputting the username and password of our Teams Rooms account. So here you can see we're being prompted with United States. I can choose from several others, but we'll go ahead and leave it at United States. <clears throat> then we need to prompt, is the keyboard layout US? Yes, it is. Uh, no, we do not want a second keyboard layout. And that's the basics. As the device powers back on, once we've done our basic settings, we see that we are checking for updates. Of course, you should be wired into, with your ethernet, a network connection so that you have a connection to the internet. And we are brought to a screen that says, network connection is solid, software update, not yet. We need to skip for now or restart the device to continue. So down on our touch panel, I'm gonna click restart and we'll let the device get one more thing done before we proceed on past network connections and software updates. So after we're done going through various reboots, updating the system, getting our connection all squared away, we are then prompted to claim the device to Think Smart Manager, optionally. Uh, probably recommended in an enterprise environment, right? But for now, I'm gonna skip this as it's not part of our video. And then we're prompted to change the default admin password. If you do this, Keep track of that, be careful with it, right? Uh, but of course it is recommended to not keep the default password, so this is actually best practice. And after changing the default admin password, it reboots once more, and we are brought into our Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows display. Time to go down to the touch controller and get signed in and set up for first Teams Rooms use. Down on our ThinkSmart controller, we're first prompted with our EULA. We'll click accept and say next. Now we've got to actually sign in. Now you can use the on-screen keyboard here, or you can go ahead and use that uh, optional keyboard that you plugged in with USB, if that is uh, a little easier to type things in. With our credentials in there, we're gonna say Microsoft Teams only, and we'll say next. Eventually you're gonna need to get yourself prepared to use modern auth in your tenant, but for now this is a pretty safe route. Uh, we're gonna leave our exchange information alone because that should be the same. And then we say finish. Once we're finished signing in, we'll go into more. We see that we've got the option to present and start a new meeting right there. We can invite this room, accessibility, restart device, all the same stuff you'd see on a Teams Rooms for Windows menu here, control our volume. But we'll click on settings and we now have to put in that new Teams password that we set up before signing into Teams. Once in our settings, we've got all of our app information here, account information, we don't need to change that. And they advanced for our exchange stuff. Coming down to meetings, we got our regular meeting options here. We can do automatic screen sharing, show meeting names, leave meetings automatically if everyone else has left. Uh, we'll turn on Cisco WebEx and Zoom for our third party integrations, just because that's always handy. We'll come over to the device, and we wanna say dual monitor mode because we actually had a second monitor uh, and we did not have the Teams rooms on Windows going across both those. We want that to be turned on. Bluetooth beaconing, 
and then automatically accept proximity-based meeting invitations. I like all that, so we'll leave it there. Coordinated meetings. We can turn that on if we are going to do coordinated meetings and we have the uh, Surface Hub in the area and we're capable of doing that, but we do not in our case, so we'll leave that alone. Peripherals. Right now we've got our echo canceling speaker phone. It's the Think Smart uh, Bar XL. That's great because it's using those mic pods. And then we've got the speaker is going to be that Think Bar XL. And then we've got the default speaker. Uh, this again, we'll come down here and we'll say Think Bar XL. Content camera. We have no content camera in this room, so we'll skip that. We can change our theme if we want to. I kind of like a different theme. That's, let's go with, uh, you know what? Let's, just, yeah, that's, that's too similar. Let's go with uh, Purple Paradise. There we go. And it's a little more like Teams Rooms on Android, in my opinion. And so I kind of like the familiarity. And then, of course, Windows settings takes us to Windows. We don't need to mess with Windows. So we're going to leave that all there, save and exit. And once we do that, because we made some changes there, it's going to reboot the device. Once the device powers back up, we can see we get back to being signed in. We've got Cortana here, new meeting, and of course, all of our settings. There we have it. The Lenovo ThinkSmart Core full room kit, fully updated, signed into Microsoft Teams, got dual display set up, and now it's time to click join on the demo meeting that we have invited this room to. We are using a Microsoft Teams room standard license for our room account. We are signed in, all fully licensed, got invited to a meeting. Now we're gonna click join here with our one touch join. And you can see we've got green LEDs lit up on our mics and we need to wait till we're admitted to the meeting. On the far side, I just admitted us to the meeting and then I uh, exited the meeting from the far side. So just our video is visible here now. Uh, we don't really need to do the dual meeting thing. That's not really the goal of this video. But we're in that Microsoft Teams meeting and we already see the ThinkSmart Cam is doing some of its AI tracking, right? So I'm gonna move around the room a little bit here and the ThinkSmart Cam is following me, adjusting fluid transitions as I move from spot to spot, kind of re-correcting that image as I go, as I walk over this way. It will continue to track me even while I'm moving. So it, it's not like on a delay, it is doing more of a speaker or I'm sorry, presenter tracking in this case. I move, it follows me. Got a little bit of light from this big giant window right here, but uh, it's doing pretty good with that light as well. So I'm gonna come walk back over this way. Uh, hopefully you like my awesome work from home uh, professional get up here with the uh, dress shirt and shorts and bare feet. That's that's how I roll, right? That's how I roll in my office. So uh, there we go. A little bit of the in-room meeting experience watching the Lenovo ThinkSmart Cam do its thing with AI and presenter tracking in the conference room. And coming back over to our in-room controls, you can see our typical Teams rooms in meeting interface here. We've got our volume up and down. We can raise our hand or react from within the room if we want to, throw a thumbs up there. And then we can access a few other settings in here, turning off incoming video, turn off PTZ controls, live captions, all that fun stuff. Uh, over here, we've got our gallery options. If we had other people in the meeting, we could control that from here as well. Front row preview. So front row is in preview, obviously, and it is available on the room. Coming up to our displays, not a lot to see here because there's not a lot of people in the meeting, right? But we've got our video down in the bottom quarter. We've got chat up on the right-hand side. We've got uh, meeting details, meeting content would be here. Other people's videos would be here. Uh, so you got that whole front row experience right from within the uh, ThinkSmart controller. Changing back to gallery, we can control our video on or off right from here. We can, of course, mute ourselves as well. Noise suppression is on auto. We can turn this to high, low, or off. We'll just leave that alone. And then of course we can present content. Now, one thing I want us to notice is that we're not muted now, but right up here on our, um, on our, our satellite mics, losing my words there, 
If you press that green LED, it turns red, and we can see we're now muted in the meeting. I can unmute over here. It doesn't matter which one you do it from, you can mute, unmute from either place, and it will control your in-room controls. Over on the bar, we can also, if someone is at the front of room, for example, they can hit that mute button. We see we're turned red over here. I can unmute it from over here. And if you notice, when it's muted, you have a little red LED right below the mute button. And again, down here, we see we are muted. Now we can click end call to hang up. There it is, the Lenovo ThinkSmart Core Full Room Kit, a demo of setting it up for Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows, using it in a Microsoft Teams meeting, a little bit of that ThinkSmart Cam AI presenter tracking magic going on, and then of course, an overview of our in-room control experience from the ThinkSmart controller. Hope you found this helpful, and if you did, share it, like it, spread it all over your social media accounts, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already, turning on notifications, of course. That way you are notified every time I come out with another device overview video. Thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.